Yeah. Like, do. Hey. Hey there, dude. Doing good. Nope. I might have to shut it down. It's this. Oh. oh. Yeah, they said they're oh, doing okay. a live stream. Okay. Huh. What's going on? Oops. <laughs> Okay, it's loud. Uh, hold on. Ah! Why? Watch our stream Monday in June, it says. Yeah, that that's this thing. They're doing a little thing for Power Rangers now. Do I remember you? I kind of, at first, I was like, who? See, I see a lot of different people in the chat, and it's hard to remember people by names. Sorry if I forget who you are and such stuff. Now that you mention it, yeah, I think I do remember you, to be honest. Yes, I do. This press conference, Little Run Games was silly. They're basically releasing physical copies of retro, like, styled games. And some indie games. Absolutely wild. Not just one. Like, see what they're but doing two, right now? The they're trying to show Power Rangers and build them now. They're trying to show Power Rangers, basically. That's what they're doing here. How are you doing? Ever be with IP. So I don't know if I'm going to watch this or not, but I'm just hey, wondering what the, the next right, press conference starts. Let's is, see uh, here. The next one is uh, right now, this on our, on our Ubisoft Ubisoft's Ubisoft. at 3. It's almost 3. It's almost 3 o'clock. This is going to start soon. I watch you on Halo and Stan Robot. Oh, you watch me on Halo? Oh, that was, that was the, I don't know, he has the sparks. He wants me on Halo. Yeah. Listen, let's just, uh, knock the hell out of each other here. He said Stan Robot to turn back to, and you already, like, typed it before, and it just shows you that, oh, wait, never mind. I don't know, the score font's being weird to me right now. I know that was a spark. You know, part of me would like to watch this. Since I literally grew oh, up watching cool. Power Rangers since the first generation, to be honest. Yeah, I used to watch Power Rangers, the first generation of Power Rangers. That's literally what this looks like. That's what this is. So, anybody who remembers the first generation of Power Rangers would probably like this. I remember the first generation. Like, I know this character. That's the Green Ranger. Yeah, I remember that character. I forgot his name, though. It's a fighting game. Or for people who are fans of the first generation of Power Rangers, like, such as myself, like, I would watch this, but Ubisoft is starting soon. Hey, another spark. Thanks for the sparks. The stickers are what you call them. So, yeah, I've already seen stuff of what this is. It's, yeah, it's a fighting game. Maybe I'll watch a little bit of this before the, before the Ubisoft press conference starts up. That's what, yeah, let's watch a little bit of this before Ubisoft starts. They start soon in a bit, Ubisoft. Yeah, it's a fighting game. It's like Street Fighters. Sometimes can we play Overwatch? Sure, we can play Overwatch. I've been doing some videos on Overwatch, if you notice, on my YouTube channel. If you remember me saying before, you ever wonder where I'm at and I'm not streaming? I haven't streamed in a long while. You ever wonder, hey, where did I, where did I disappear off to? You haven't seen me in a long while. I went off, because I'm also on YouTube. That's where I'm at. If you're wondering where I'm at. You've seen them? Oh, you've seen them, okay. Yeah, the Overwatch seasonal event videos. I'm trying to change up how I do them, so that way I have a video upload while the seasonal event's going on. I'm not uploading videos over a seasonal event when the seasonal event's, like, over. But when you think about it, that's pretty much down to half and we can do a little video series of a seasonal event. So I'm trying to do things a little differently where I release the first the first video I upload nope, nope. over a seasonal event will be like an yeah, overview. Yeah, an overview of that seasonal event. And then after I show that first video, which is an overview of everything I'm gonna check out for the seasonal event. After that video, I'll do a little like or I check out in depth of each little thing in that event. I'll do that. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, I know. This, this, the stream. Ah. 
I stewed in the video from New Year's. Oh, was that? Yeah, it's Sparks. I'm confused with what I'm seeing in the chat right now. Oh, that's a, from my loot boxes. What you talking about? What's very funny? This? Or are you talking about my videos? Sorry, I'm a little, I'm a little confused right now. It's not true. It's me. This is weird. Oh, it's the Green Ranger with that big neck. What the heck? I'm just watching a little bit of this before Ubisoft begins. Because it's like 2.40 something and Ubisoft doesn't start till 3. 3 p.m. Uh, it's like Ubisoft and Square Enix are only the big, big, big press conferences for, for today. Because this year's E3 is a little weird since Sony's not around. You had to go. In Italy, it's 21.45. I had to go. Oh, alright. You gotta go. See you later, dude. It was nice seeing you. Thanks for stopping by. Nice seeing you again. Hope to see you again soon. No, see you around. Yellow Ranger? Best Ranger in the game. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she's pretty annoying. She's got, uh, got a lot of good mid range. That's funny, this. Yeah, it's a fighting game. They got like a fight sticks. That's nice. They got fight sticks and everything. Alright, that's pretty cool. Watching that. Little. Little. Little run games. Seeing them show a little bit of Power Rangers here. Genuine question. Yeah, what? I gotta watch more of it, but let's see what Ubisoft is. I wanna wanna miss Ubisoft's press conference. Yeah, that's what's next. Yep, yeah, here it is. It's about to start. This is it right here. Work on your game plain and simple in practice. A and C are right. Camp is for noobs, and I don't think your team's gonna be too happy about that. But listen. There's a difference between some friendly trash talk oh, that's and being a toxic dick. There's nothing wrong with What's hitting your eyes with a little smack, but saying good game doesn't cost you anything. Okay, let's try this. This is live right the now. The best way to handle a troll is A, ignore him, B, calmly tell him to chill out, or C, tell him How to is this a press conference? Listen, did it, did it already start and I missed it? Is it on there. To dealing with the troll. And my starts at three. Obviously the best approach, yeah, it starts at three. Minus, three central standard time. Four p.m. ET. Last one. You're in a game, and over the chat, I'm not sure what this is, but this is something going on like before the press conference actually begins. Stick to normal cons because video It's a little funny. I'm not sure what it is though. It to you? B. Focus on your own damn game and mind your own shit. What the heck? Or C. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Respect. Ah! I'm sick of hearing all that sexist, racist, homophobic bullshit from a few punk ass motherfucking dumb fucks out there trying to ruin this shit for the rest of us. Oh, jeez. I knew you'd pick What the heck? <laughs> I think we all learned something today. And by the way, Team killing is for assholes, and talking shit to your own team members is some super asshole shit. Huh. I hope this was helpful. I'm Ice T. Good gaming to everyone. Enjoy E3. Yeah, thanks. That was funny. Yeah, show starts at 11:20. Right, guys, like your Papa Ice T, do not be a toxic dick. So right now we're at Funny. the first moment where it's our last update before the big E3 press It's not starting yet. It's about Ellie, to start in 11 minutes. This is just stuff like with, with YouTube. You, YouTube talking yeah. about a free show. That's what this is right Anyways, here. Um, okay, so I guess, that's a, really I, guess I could watch a little bit of right this. Now, and I'm, you're going to be revealing something new to us today. Right? I mean, it's on the Ubisoft yeah, so website. All of us at Studio Quebec have yeah. been working so hard on all the post-launch content, and we're really excited to show off some new features today and reveal some stuff. So mm. I could keep talking to you about it, or we could show a video that I think will do a much better job. Awesome, let's roll that. No, it's Ubisoft. 
The Story Creator Mode is a tool that we're going to give to the community to create all the stories they want in the world of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. A story is a succession of quests that you can huh. set up pretty much as you want. We have a wide variety of objectives to choose from. You can add characters from the main game as well as write what your the own dialogues and share them with the world community. You can pretty much write whatever you want within Story Creator Mode. The dialogue tools are actually based on the ones that we huh. used for the main game. You can create branching narratives, you can role play. We know our community is quite creative and I think whether you're into art huh. or writings or just very curious about how games work, Story Creator Mode can appeal to you. There's so Talking about a goo here right now. There's so many different objectives and possibilities with the dialogue system. So really get deep into those mechanics and see just what you can actually create. The entire community is going to make us dream, make us uh, cry, make us laugh. But we're pretty sure that people are going to surprise us. Oh, I'm really excited okay. to see what the community can huh. actually come up with. I'm excited to see the variety yeah, of quests Spartan that they make and the stories huh. that they can tell within the world because there is so much potential there. Yeah. All right, so story creator mode, that means you guys are coming out with a quest builder, right? Yes. And that's a first for the Assassin's Creed brand. It sure is. So um, it's something that the studio have been working on since the very beginning of production. Mm. And it's going to be totally free to all players. And we're really excited for people to start creating. Seems like a free new game. Okay, that sounds amazing. And what does this mean for the community? It's something that we wanted to give back for a while because the community is so important to us. Like the fans are so great. And we wanted to allow them to be able to make their own stories within the world of Assassin's Creed Odyssey uh, using the characters. Oh, that, that has to do with Assassin's Creed. So actually create and share these things. And it's accessible to everyone. So that means it's totally cross platform as well. Okay, <laughs> sorry for doing this, but that means everybody benefits, right? <laughs> Okay, so how can we access that? All you have to do is go to the official Assassin's Creed website, and from there you can access the Story Creator Mode page, which has got the creator tools, it's got the Explorer, you can see everything that people have managed to create before, and then you can access the quest in game as well. Perfect, and one big question I'm assuming everybody watching is going to want to know, when can this come out? So I'm super excited to be able to say that it's actually releasing right this second. Yes. You can go oh. to the website now and download the update and you'll be able to create, share and play. All right, perfect. Well, you guys heard that. Don't forget, you can go right now and download the update for Assassin's Creed Odyssey and get your hands on the quest builder. Thank you so much for that. That's Thank really you for awesome. Me. And guys, uh, please, I'm super excited to see what the community is going to come out with. I want you guys to create a bunch of cool stuff and yeah, get cracking on really it. Really create stuff. Yeah. Congratulations on this awesome new feature, the story. Seven builder. minutes. It's really cool. It's it almost like the game's gonna start seven minutes. itself. Well, another <laughs> really cool feature that we These have to talk about today down. will make the world of Assassin's Creed Odyssey even deeper. Here to talk to us about it is Maxime, the content director at Ubisoft Montreal. Tell us about it. Oh, well, thanks for having me, Kerry. Uh, so it's already been announced a while ago, but I'm super happy to say that the Discover Tour is finally coming to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. That is awesome. So this is going to be our opportunity to learn even more about the world of Cassandra and Alexios. Now, for those of us who may have forgotten what the Discovery Tour is, give us a little bit of a reminder. So it is basically the same world as the main game, but we remove any pressure, any conflict from it. Here, it's all about exploration. It's really meant to be accessible for gamers and also for non-gamers. I loved the first one that was set in ancient Egypt, but what's new in this edition? Uh. Like, what can we expect? Art us tourists. So there are many new huh. things, but I brought a small video to share that with, with us. Uh, so as we're going to see uh, here, we're going to go into Sparta and it's going to be a tour about education. Okay. So when we get there, we, there's actually a character that's waiting for Ooh. us to invite us into the tour, King Leonidas. Shiny. Well, it looks like you've got a pretty special avatar <laughs> there. Yes, yeah, so we've got Sparta really cool avatars ranging from historical characters to very unique said. ones like this cultist. So they're part of a progression and reward system. The first cycle of the aggregate. Now it looks like we just entered a station. Eight, Tell us a little bit about what's going on here. So we're in the tour like regarding them. education. They now we're seeing this highly realized cinematic. So this is the new format. It really helps us to focus on all the small details and intricacies of the beautiful world of ancient Greece. 
That is so cool. I love how Assassin's Creed puts history like mm. into the game. <laughs> so okay, so Leonidas is starts with five minutes or so. Yes, uh, so yeah. it's the same character from the beginning of the tour. He's winning. So that's like but has to do with Assassin's Creed, right? Special, so we can take I'm confused. A quiz to test our knowledge. Uh, <laughs> quiz? <laughs> yeah, so I hope you've been paying attention. <laughs> uh, I can't remember what this has right? to do with. Okay. <laughs> First. A simple question. Who yeah. were Spartans allowed to grow mustaches? Hello, hey there. Yeah, tough Hi, Crimson I, Curve. I'm gonna say 10. What's I feel up? Like Spartans could grow the man scruff. I'm waiting 10. for the Ubisoft like press conference to start. We Spartans are Ew. impressive, but not See them on their website. Anyway, is drawn from I'm on the Ubisoft work, website so trying to right. wait Let's for it to else. start. All right, I'll go with sure, I can watch on Twitch or anywhere else, yeah, but like it's right uh, here. Either way. That's a good answer. With a okay, so this looks amazing. I'm doing Tell good. us how, how are you when doing? the players can access this. So the Discovery hmm? Tour will be available how you doing, this fall for all Assassin's Creed Odyssey owners for free. And also good, a standalone good, format. great, great to hear. Well, thank you so much That's for joining to us today and telling us a little bit about the Discovery you, Tour. You're going to see the Ubisoft press conference? The Ubisoft Quebec for creating these like, I mean, two you're, amazing features. I guess features, the story builder yeah, yeah. and the Discovery right? Tour. Thank you again, Maxime. Thank you, Gary. I don't know, I'm just also, saying things on top of my head right now. The Discovery Tour, please as I'm waiting for this next press conference to happen. This Wednesday on the live stream at 11 a.m. Pacific time along with the Story Builder. It's an amazing time to jump the back into the world. The of one before this Odyssey. one was like little now, time games or something. Stream, the There's a bunch of really indie soon. games and uh, retro year, style games well all released as physical now, release copies of those games. I was like, huh. So that's what they did to that press conference. Flats, it was a little funny though. But if you want, you can see the beginning of my vibe to see me watch that. Since I didn't see PC Gaming Show as the first one, that I could have started the stream off watching. But I'm just gonna go back and watch that one after I finish watching Square Enix, which was the last one. Just because I didn't really see much of PC Gaming Show, I only saw bits and parts of it, because I came in a little bit late to see it. Like, why do I keep doing that? So as soon as I finish watching the press conferences, I'm just gonna go straight to bed. That way I have enough sleep for the next uh, next press conference, which is Nintendo's tomorrow, basically. Cause that's the one I really don't wanna miss. That's what I, that's like, I don't know, I came in a bit, ooh, For Honor. For Honor's, I kinda feel very mixed about this game. What the heck? Oh, it's a, Huh. What the heck? Oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, there's streamers playing these games. That's what this is. Well, that was weird and funny. What the heck? Wow. I'm just waiting for the press conference to start up and then I see all of this. Other people playing these random games. That is too funny. You hit with a shovel? My god. What the heck? Yeah. Oh. Yes. The goal of the game is to not. This is funny. Yeah, it starts in like two minutes, the press conference. Yeah, that was funny. I know, right? Oh! <laughs> what the heck? This is too funny. Yes, I did it. Yeah, these are so funny. They're like funny moments. What the heck is a chicken doing with the C4? What the heck? No, go, 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 chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm they had to invent an ESRB rating descriptor for chicken-related acts. <laughs> 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 what <laughs> That was so I mean. That was, funny. I don't that know. was hilarious and so mean. Crude humor. Why? That was funny. So mean. Yes, of course. Yeah. One thing yeah, who couldn't just, feel bad for the chicken? It's like, no, no, keep running. Keep going. Don't stop with that. 
to for your mouth. <laughs> and of course, we've got a lot more to come after the conference starting at about 2 p.m. My God. A celebrity showdown. Crude. Team T Pain. This is, it's like a little bit of crude humor and dark humor put together. It's like, what the heck, man? Jeez, that's like trying to kick a dog off the balcony. Why? No, I seen some, I seen something like that in a movie. It's so terrible. But the dog's not real. <laughs> The dog's hey, fake. It's not a real dog. It's a, you can tell uh, by the ragdoll physics that it's a fake dog flying through the air off the, off the third side. That's so mean. Like, what the heck? That's a similar thing with the chicken. Weird. I'm not sure what the name of the movie was called, but it had Jack Black. He kicked the dog off of Why would Jack Black... Kick a dog so off the bridge. So it's not a real it's dog. It was a, it was a, like a uh, fake, so a, of all of us a fake like show, stuffed like so dog. It's like they they replaced a real Ubisoft dog with a fake like stuffed animal thing. Here it is. Here it goes. Ubisoft press conference. <laughs> 